What bothers me the most is that he chose this picture of Riley this year to end his case by case picking and choosing. A student's senior picture is being thrown out of the yearbook because he's holding a gun. His mom says it's unfair and that the rules are inconsistent. But Crookston school administrators say new rules are meant to make it more fair for students. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin tells us why the school board might be reconsidering a previous ruling. Because if you open Riley's closet... Riley Schultz is graduating from Crookston. ...is literally all he wears. He likes basketball, America, video games, and guns. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry because his senior picture was singled out, deemed inappropriate. His exact words were, it's my senior year, it's my picture, they told me to pick one, I picked one. This is the picture. Riley on his truck with his rifle he modified by hand. After it was submitted, mom got a phone call from the principal. And his first sentence to me when the phone call is, is we have an 18 year old boy sitting on a black truck with an assault rifle. He's like, I don't think I can handle this one. You can have a senior photo that has a gun in it that would, that most people would find perfectly appropriate. And you can have a senior photo with a gun in it that most people would find extremely inappropriate. And then there's everything in between. Principal Eric Bubna has been the gatekeeper of what's allowed in the yearbook. Uh, this year there was a photo that it wasn't overtly terrible, um, but it was a little more questionable maybe. He made the suggestion to the school board to not allow guns in senior pictures. I felt like we need to be consistent and just have a policy so that all kids are being treated fairly and that's not just up to me. The school board voted to not allow guns in the yearbook, which mom has a couple problems with. I think it's a beautiful picture. I love it. Beautiful girl, beautiful gun. This picture was approved to be in the yearbook last year. Mom doesn't see the difference. She wants her son to be treated fairly. If you're going to veto one child, you better veto them all. If you're going to veto one gun, veto them all. That's what they did. The school board even voted to ban pictures of guns for the trap shooting team. There's been a, a real pushback on the, on the ban of the trap team, and some people are having some real questions as to why that is. The next school board meeting, there's discussion time slated to review the gun yearbook policy. Mom says the next school board meeting is after the deadline to submit senior pictures. I think it's super sneaky because, you know what, I'll guarantee at this next meeting, trap shooters are going to allowed to have, be allowed to have their guns. Mom says the way the school has handled Riley's case is doing more harm than good. You're worried about offending people or somebody's going to get upset or somebody's going to get hurt? You're actually hurting more people that care about America and their rights to guns and their amendments. And now, that I mean, this, this gun thing has escalated so much. A family still hoping the school will reconsider a policy made because of this picture. From Crookston, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. The school board will discuss allowing pictures of the trap team guns in the yearbook. The principal says the board feels comfortable banning guns from students' senior pictures. Raleigh's mom tells us he's considering joining the National Guard after he graduates. This isn't the first time a gun controversy has surfaced in the Valley. There was a similar situation at Fargo North back in 2015. For that story and for more information on school policies for senior pictures, go to our website, valleynewslive.com and click on this score story.